Hello, hello. Welcome back, everybody. Hello. Hello. How are you? How was your day? Hello, Jose Luis. Welcome, welcome. How are you? Welcome back. Welcome back. Are you ready for your class? Can you hear me? Yes, I'm All right. ready. All right, that's good, that's good. What can you tell me about yesterday's class? What information can you tell me about yesterday's class? What did we talk about? What did we discuss? Anything like that? What can you tell me? What vocabulary do you remember? Do you remember? We were looking at pronunciation. Let's take a look at the review. We were looking at this exercise right here. Listen and practice as many times as you need to. Pronunciation. Unreleased and released. T and D. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice when the sound T or D at the end of a word is followed by a consonant, it is unreleased. When it is followed by a vowel sound, it is released. Unreleased. She's not good at math and science. I hate working on Sundays. You need to manage money well. Released. He's not a good artist. They really hate it. I need a cup of coffee. On your own, complete the following sentences and say them out loud. Watch your pronunciation. Remember, the more you practice, the better you get. Okay, so this is the exercise that we were looking at yesterday. So today we are going to go ahead and move forward and we're going to be looking at section number 5.7. In this session, you will develop skills in listening for main ideas. En esta sección, desarrollan habilidades auditivas para entender ideas principales. Job hunting. Listen, please. Listen to the audio. Listening. Can everybody Job hear? Hunting. Can everybody Part hear? A. Can you hear? Listen to people talk about the kind of work yes. you're looking for. Okay. Check the job that would be best for each person. One, Bill. So what kind of job are you looking for? Well, I haven't made up my mind. I love working with people, and I love traveling. I don't want a job where I'm stuck in an office all day. I want to get out and see the world. Are you interested in working in business? That's where you can sometimes make good money. I'm not really interested in making a lot of money at this point in my life. I'll worry about that later. 2. Shannon What kind of career are you planning for yourself? I don't know. I think I'd like to have a job where I can help people. Everybody else in my family is in law or business. You know, boring stuff like that. That's just not for me. I know I'd like to work overseas, though. Maybe in a children's hospital in a developing country. But that's a long way away. I have to get into medical school first, and that's not going to be easy. 3. Ben What kind of job do I have in mind? Well. I don't want a regular 9-to-5 job. Eventually, I'd like to get into acting, maybe even break into movies. But I guess that won't happen for a while. So what are you doing in the meantime? Well, I work out at the gym nearly every day. I need to be really fit. And I'm taking acting lessons as well so that I feel comfortable in front of the crowd. I just had some pictures taken to show to agents in the city. Would you like to see them? Sure. Page 66. 
Exercise 5, Part B. Listen again. Answer these questions. 1. Bill. So, what kind of job are you looking for? Well, I haven't made up my mind. I love working with people, and I love traveling. I don't want a job where I'm stuck in an office all day. I want to get out and see the world. Are you interested in working in business? That's where you can sometimes make good money. I'm not really interested in making a lot of money at this point in my life. I'll worry about that later. 2. Shannon what kind of career are you planning for yourself? I don't know. I think I'd like to have a job where I can help people. Everybody else in my family is in law or business. You know, boring stuff like that. That's just not for me. I know I'd like to work overseas, though. Maybe in a children's hospital in a developing country. But that's a long way away. I have to get into medical school first, and that's not going to be easy. 3. Ben. What kind of job do I have in mind? Well, I don't want a regular 9 to 5 job. Eventually, I'd like to get into acting, maybe even break into movies. But I guess that won't happen for a while. So what are you doing in the meantime? Well, I work out at the gym nearly every day. I need to be really fit. And I'm taking acting lessons as well so that I feel comfortable in front of the crowd. I just had some pictures taken to show to agents in the city. Would you like to see them? Sure. All right, let me have one volunteer. One volunteer. Give me number one, please. One volunteer. Read number one. Bill, what is the profession? Flight attendant, teacher, or songwriter? Flight attendant. Flight attendant, excellent. Number two, Shannon, lawyer, bookkeeper, or doctor? Doctor. Doctor, excellent. Number three, Ben, marine biologist, model, or architect? Marine biologist. Bi marine biologist, very good, very biologist. good. Biologist. Biologist. Oh, no. Oh, thank you. Correct. Uh, I think that one is model. There you go, model. Okay, so we got Bill is a flight attendant, Shannon is a doctor, and Ben is a model. Excellent. Uh, does anybody have any questions in referring to this vocabulary? Questions referring to this vocabulary? Nobody? Okay, let's take a look at the next one, 5.9. At the end of this class, participants will learn adjectives for describing personality traits. Al final de esta clase, los participantes aprenderán adjetivos para describir características de personalidad. Personality traits. Listen and repeat. Personality traits. Personality. Personality traits. Very good. Repeat one more time. Personality traits. Personality, personality traits. traits. Personality traits. Personality traits. All right. So we're going to go ahead and watch the video. And uh, I want you to look at the vocabulary. This vocabulary is to describe people's personality. Hello. Which of these adjectives are positive? Which are negative? Listen, repeat, and decide. Okay, so you're going to identify if it is a positive or negative uh, personality trait. Listen and repeat. Bad temper. All right, listen and repeat. Bad tempered. Bad tempered. Creative. 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 Critical. 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 Disorganized. 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 Efficient. 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 Forgetful. 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 Generous. 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 
Hardworking. Hardworking. Impatient. 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 Level headed. Level headed. Moody. 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 Punctual. 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 Reliable. Reliable. Strict. Strict. Okay, one more time. Bad tempered. Bad, bad tempered. tempered. Creative. 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 Critical. 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 Disorganized. Disorganized. Efficient. 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 Forgetful. 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 Generous. 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 Hard working. Hard working. Hard working. Impatient. Impatient. Level headed. Level headed. Moody. 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 Punctual. Punctual. Reliable. Reliable. Strict. 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 Okay. Uh, at this moment, does anybody have any questions uh, in regards to the pronunciation or the meaning of these words? Questions in regards to the the meaning or the pronunciation? Yes. I I don't I don't know what is the meaning of all the <laughs> all the ah, words. All the words. Okay. Okay. Uh, bad bad tempered is uh, somebody that has a. Uh, Decimos mal temperamento, somebody that's angry very fast, uh, mm. uh -huh, somebody that cannot control uh, their feelings, their emotions. And it says bad tempered, no poder controlar el temperamento, bad tempered. Mm -hmm. uh, the other uh, one, uh -huh. uh, Moody. Uh, Moody. Modi is somebody that Modi. Uh -huh, Modi is somebody that one moment is happy, one moment is depressed. Bipolar. Uh -huh, like a bipolar person, right? Is Modi doesn't know how to control uh, the emotions and feelings. Uh, creative is creativo, right? Somebody that's creative is creativo. Uh, somebody that can invent many things like music, art, uh, uh, mu yeah, music, art, uh, drawings. Um, critical, critical is, is somebody that is, uh, alguien que es critical, es de esas personas que se andan fijando para juzgar en lo más mínimo que alguien hace. Right, critical, somebody that's, is alguien que está criticando todo, menos lo, lo que ellos hacen, right? Critical, this es is una persona critical. Eh, disorganized is alguien que es desordenado, right? No hay orden, no hay organización, no hay una agenda. It's very unorganized, disorganized. Otra manera de decir disorganized is unorganized. O puedes decir las dos formas, es significa lo mismo. Eh, efficient, alguien que es muy eficiente. Um, somebody that does things fast, quickly, eh, in a very good way. Eh, forgetful, forgetful, alguien que no se recuerda las cosas, very forgetful. Eh, generous, generoso. Muy similar a español, generoso, generous. Eh, hard working, hard working, es una persona que trabaja duro, right? It's, it's not lazy, no es perezoso. Lo contrario es lazy, hard working, trabajo duro, lazy, perezoso. And the next one is impatient, impatient. Okay. Eh, alguien que no tiene yeah. paciencia, eh, no, no le gusta esperar, quieren las cosas ya, yeah. right? Is impatient. 
level-headed, level-headed, right? Una persona que es serena, level-headed. No importa lo que pase, siempre está enfocado en lo que está, en lo que quiere, en sus sueños, sus metas, sus deseos. Somebody that's level-headed, que no cambia de humor o pensamiento o dirección por cualquier cosa. Eh, y moody es lo contrario, right? Level-headed y moody son lo contrario. Moody, una persona que cambia de humor de un momento al otro, es moody. Eh, punctual, right? Puntual, punctual. Alguien que está a la hora, punctual. Reliable. Reliable es eh, alguien que tú puedes decir, sí puedo contar con esa persona. Él es reliable o ella es reliable. Eh, no es como esos amigos que te dicen, yeah, yeah. Y a la hora de la hora, oh, man. <laughs> right. No reliable. No reliable. Cambia. Uh, strict. Strict es como Mr. Santos. Mr. Santos is strict. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I, I, I don't think I am strict. In the class English. In, in the, the English, English class. class. In the English class, yes. In your home, not. No, in my home, relax. <laughs> in, relax. My home, in my home, peace and love. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, yeah. Okay, um, another question about this vocabulary. Otra pregunta sobre el vocabulario. Somebody? Question, question? Okay. I want you to work in pairs and over here at the bottom. Third. Aquí abajo. Creative. You are going to write the words. You're going to say, for example, añade una publicación. And you're going to put a vocabulary personality. And you're going to go here, titulo, paste. And here, you're going to write the word. Va a escribir la palabra y va a decir si es negative or positive. Por ejemplo, bad tempered, is that negative or positive? Bad tempered, negative or positive? Negative. Negative, right? Nadie quiere a alguien que es bad tempered. Eh, una persona que sea bad tempered, podemos decir, por ejemplo, eh, do you remember the movie Spider-Man? Yes. El, the manager of the, of the newspaper? Mm. <laughs> the one that yeah. always is smoking a cigar, a big cigar. Peter. I don't remember the name. <laughs> Peter. Uh-huh. So that guy is bad tempered. Eh, or maybe el profesor Girafales. Ta, ta, ta. <laughs> right? You can say he's bad tempered. Um, ah, okay. El de los Flintstones. El jefe de Fred Flintstone uh, was bad tempered. O los Jetsons. Mr. Santos. Mr. Santos is bad tempered. Sometimes, sometimes, <laughs> yes, yeah, sometimes I am a little bad tempered, but I try to, <laughs> I, I try to breathe, <laughs> I try to breathe. <laughs> All right, and then you're going to put enviar when you finish. <laughs> Any questions? Questions, questions? No? Okay, let's work together and then we are going to check ready let's go five minutes five minutes and then you're going to give me some examples let's go
qué es lo que vamos a hacer, gente? Eh, lo que le entendí es que íbamos a poner como... Él estaba diciendo acerca de personajes, relacionarlo con estos, con las personalidades. O entendí mal yo. ¿Qué entendieron ustedes? No sé, es que no presté mucha ah, atención porque estaba cocinando. Ah, vamos a escribir eh, si, es, si la personalidad es negativa o positiva. Por ejemplo, en la primera, bad temperament is negative. Negative. Right, pero es negativo. Uh, bad temperament to write like the example in the video. Okay. Y tenemos que escribir la verdad. For example, for example, creative is Yeah, I think it's positive. It's positive. Positive. It's positive. Yeah. Uh, critical yeah. is negative. Negative. Yeah. Disorganized yeah. is it's negative. also negative. Negative. <laughs> Efficient. Efficient. Um, positive. 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 Um, forgetful. Forgetful. I think negative. it's negative. It's negative. Yeah. Generous yep. is positive. Generous. Yeah. Uh, hard working is I think that is positive. Yeah, yeah. Impatient, impatient like me. Impatient <laughs> is negative. Negative. <laughs> negative. Yeah, negative. Okay. Um, level healthy. I don't, I don't know I think what it it's means. Positive because. Is that someone that changed her um personality? Change the personality. Don't change. No es ese moody. Yeah, no. When no moody is malhumorado. Oh. El este level. Okay, vamos en el traductor para saber qué significa. Compañeros, Moody es, es... Entendí que alguien... Es, 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 ¿Ya? perdón, es alguien que, que pierde el control. Entonces es Moody. negative. Ok, y, y level hero. El level hero es cuando alguien tiene el control total de sí mismo. Ah, es, es negative. No, es No, es positive. Mm. Sometimes es negative. <laughs> es como estricto. Sometimes it's important. Algunas veces es importante y otras veces no. It's depend the case. Sí, 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 sí. Depends for the case. Concuerdo, depende del caso. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Porque hay veces que es necesario ser estricto para que pues, las personas sean un poquito educadas. Y a veces puede ser demasiado estricto también no es muy bueno. So, we can say negative. Pongamos la negativa. 50 to 50. Is, is negative or positive. Negative. Ok. Eh, ¿tú puedes darle copia? Porque a lo que escribieron así y mandarlo al grupo de, de Messenger de acá. 
solo para que le demos pegar o algo así. Sí, pero lo tengo que escribir. Ah. No, pero ya no vamos a salir. No creo que llegó el teacher. Bueno. Are you finished? Are you finished? Okay. Bye bye. <laughs> Everybody finish. Maybe maybe no. maybe tomorrow. Okay. okay. I... <laughs> we Se need lo voy more. a le voy a we poner remoto. Hágalo usted porque ahorita ando. That's okay. Ando That's mal. okay. We need more That's okay. time. That's okay. José, hágalo usted porque ahorita okay. ando concentrada. I I made it in the not but. Vamos, siga. The next. Efficient. Double F. Efficient. Yeah. Yo se las envío. ¿Cómo hacemos? Se las puedo enviar para que las... Por qué? Por qué? Así, ¿verdad? Solo una L. Ok. ¿Es positive o negative? Ah, uh, negative. Presidente general. Minerals is I look at me. What is this? No, it's possible. Okay. Yeah. Luego hard. Working. Hard, hard working. It's negative. Mm -hmm. I know it's post positive. La, la, e. Give a thirty nine. No, see is negative or positive? Negative, negative. Okay, level level. Eh, le falta qué le falta eh, R verdad la D es negativo positivo, positivo. Mm -hmm. Sinés Muri M O O Así Muri Yeah Negari Negari All right, all right. Is everybody finished? Is everybody finished? Okay, now what I would like for you to do is tell me if it is negative or positive. Let's look at the first one. Well, the first one we already know it's negative. Uh, who can tell me if creative is negative or positive? Positive. Positive. 
creative is a positive. Uh, critical, negative or positive? Both. Both, okay. We could say it's both, negative and positive, depend on the situation. Uh, disorganized, negative or positive? Negative. Negative, negative. right, because you got to be organized to have a good life. Efficient, negative or positive? Positive. Positive, that's positive. right. Positive. Efficient is positive. Uh, forgetful, negative or positive? Negative. Negative, negative right. You want to remember stuff. Uh, generous, negative or positive? Positive. 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 positive, very good, very good. Hard working, negative or positive? Positive. 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 Hard working is positive. Uh, impatient, negative or positive? Negative. 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 Right. You got to be patient. Uh, level headed, negative or positive? Positive. Positive. Correct. Level headed, positive. Modi, negative or positive? Negative. negative negative right you want to have uh, emotional stability uh, punctual negative or positive positive positive, positive right positive you want to be punctual uh, reliable negative or positive um, positive. positive 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 right reliable is positive positive uh, strict negative or positive positive well it can be both it depends both. too much strict is not good but strict is good yeah you have, you want to have a balance okay let's go ahead and uh, move forward guys any questions about this vocabulary questions about this vocabulary no. Okay, no. let's go ahead and take a look at the next exercise, which is 511. Well, give me a second, guys. I need to take the attendance. It's time to take the attendance. Uh, when I call your name, please say present. When I call your name, please say present. Benjamin. Present. All right, thank you, Benjamin. Benjamin, present. Brenda. Present. Present. Carmen. Carmen Santillana. Is absent, okay. Uh, Edgar. Teacher, in the chat, le acaba de contestar. Oh, okay. Carmen. Thank you. Thank you. Let me see, Carmen. All right, present. Thank you, Carmen. All right, the next one is Edgar. Edgar Portillo. Edgar Portillo is absent. Okay. Edgar is absent. Elisa. Present teacher. Very good. Thank you, Elisa. Giselle. Giselle. Okay, Giselle is present in the chat. Thank you, Giselle. Uh, Janet. Janet. Okay, ja Janet is absent. Thank you, Janet. Uh, let me see, Jose. Present. Excellent. Thank you, Jose. Karen Bernal. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Karen Villanueva. Present teacher. 
Excellent. Leslie. Leslie. Is absent. Okay, Leslie is absent. Maria. Maria. Alguien más le contestó ahí en el chat también. Oh, let me see. Le contestó Maria Santos. Oh, Maria Santos. Thank you, Maria. Maria is present. Thank you, Maria. Eh, Marlene. Marlene. Marlene, por ahí vía Marlene o oh, no. Ok, creo que no. Ok, Marlene is absent. Uh, Melissa. Present. Thank you, Melissa. Michelle. Present. Excellent, Michelle. Neftali. Present teacher. Very good, Neftali. Nimrod. Nimrod. Ebraivia Nimrod. Uh, okay, Nimrod is absent. All right, absent Nimrod. Uh, Oscar Santana. Oscar Santana. En el WhatsApp escribió que iba a estar de oyente. Okay, thank you. Oscar Santana. Eh, Oscar Zambrano. Oscar Zambrano is present. Thank you. Roberto. Present teacher. Very good. Sara. Present. Excellent. Selma. Present. Good job. Sylvia. Present. Excellent. Wendy. Present. Thank you, Wendy. And Yenny. I'm here, Mr. Santos. Very good. All right, so we have absent Nimrod, Marlene, eh, Leslie, Janet, and Edgar are absent. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, any questions in regards to the vocabulary or in regards to the exercise? with the personality traits. Questions in regards to this topic? No questions. Okay. Uh, let's look at the following activity, which is coming from exercise number 5.11, lesson objective. By the end of this, hi. Uh, we need to finish the, the the final action for that, tomorrow that is correct yes for tomorrow yes that is correct oh my God. yeah but well, we're going to work on it together so don't worry about it okay mm -hmm. uh let's go ahead and finish section five and then we're going to go ahead and start the final exam 5.11 by the end of this session, you will learn and understand clauses with because. Al final de esta sesión, aprenderán a comprenderán clausulas con because. Now, eh, why or for what do we use because? 
we use it whenever we want to express a reason, right? Uh, for example, if I say to you, uh, I study English, and you say, why? I study English. Why? Ah, because I want a better job. Okay? So, I study English is the main idea uh, because I want a better job is the clause, because clause. Or if you say, for example, uh, I go to the gym, I go to the gym. Hey, and you say, why? Why do you go to the gym? I go to the gym because I want to be healthy, right? Or like, let's say if you say, um, I play sports, I play sports, right? And you say, why? Why do you play sports? I play sports because I like competition. I uh, play sports because I like competition. Uh, so these are the clauses. Uh, these are just some examples that you can use. I'm going to uh, share them with you here on the chat. And I'm also going to share them with you here on the WhatsApp so you can have them uh, right there. Any questions at this moment? Any questions at this moment? Not here. Anybody? No. Okay. okay, okay. Let's go ahead and uh, <laughs> listen to the video. Listen to the video. Share Sam. Mm. Hi, are you ready to introduce a cause or a reason? Stay with us and see how the word because is used. Can everybody hear? Clauses with because. Can everybody hear? Okay, yes, okay, okay. Introduces okay. a cause or reason. I'd make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. I could be a teacher because I'm very creative. I wouldn't want to be a teacher because I'm very impatient. I could never be a stockbroker because I can't make decisions quickly. Ready to listen to the explanation of the use of because? Because is a conjunction that can connect two independent clauses in one sentence. Let's point out that the clause starting with because can come either before or after the main clause. It is okay to say, because I'm good at writing, I would make a good journalist, or I'd make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. Now pay attention on the use of a comma in the first example. No comma is used, however, when because is in the middle of a sentence. Don't forget, the word because answers the question why. Follow the example so you may work on your own. I couldn't be a singer because I have a funny voice. I would be a good teacher because I'm patient. Now tell us why or why not you would or could be a good president, an actor or an actress? Please share your responses on our discussion box. Okay, so in this example, what I want you to do is I want you to give me at least six examples uh, telling me what profession you would be good at and why. If, for example, you can say, uh, I want to be a teacher. Why? I want to be a teacher because I am patient. All right? Quiero ser maestro porque soy paciente. 
you will write at least six examples, and I want you to write the examples at the bottom in the discussion box. You're gonna go over here and you're gonna put añade una respuesta. You're gonna go where it says titulo and you're gonna write clauses with because. And then you're gonna put it here, clauses with because. And then over here, you're gonna give me six original examples. And then you're gonna click enviar. Any questions? Any questions at this moment about this topic? Okay, you're going to change partners and then you are going to check with the class. You will have five minutes. Let's go. Eh, los que están de oyente se pueden quedar aquí en la sala principal. Karen. Karen. Hola. We got Elisa, Karen, Hello. Sylvia. Hi. Here I am. Sorry. Share screens, uh, uh, please, Karen. Screen. Let me see the, the page, the activity. Wow. Oh, oh, sepa. Eh, 12.12. Uh, uh -huh. yeah. Clauses with because, correct. Okay. Está bien, hijo. I have an example. Okay. Um, I want to be a translator because I'm good at writing in English. Because I'm I don't hear because I'm good at writing in English because I, I am good and now. I am because good. I am, yes. I am good. At writing. Writing. At writing in English. Perfect. I have a I have an example too. Number two. Uh, we can put, uh, for example, uh, I want to be a chef because I like to cook. I want. I want to be to be a, a chef. chef. Because 
Because I like I like to cook. I like to cook. Yep. Okay. Oh, I have another example. Uh, we can put uh, I like, no, let me see. I want to work in a call center because I know how to speak English. I do. So, yeah, uh, I want to be. I, I want to, no, let me see. I, I want to, I want to work a call center because I have experience. I think that's all. Because Need money, for example, to you, 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 Work because I, I need your money. <laughs> I need money for buy something. I don't know. Creo que sería I need money for to buy. Harold Pin. Repeat, please. I sí, need sí está bien. For to buy. Okay. No lleva el tú. No, no. No. The other for buy Harold mm. Pin. I want to be. I. Okay. Number five. Okay. I want to be. Police officer. Rich. Efficient. Thomas. Um, another one. I'm. I want. Sorry, I don't want. I don't. Yeah. I don't want to be a teacher. To be a teacher. Yeah, because I'm not patient with childrens. Because I'm not patient. Me imagino que yo I am not. Yeah. Sí. I am not patient. Okay. Hola, mamá. Patient. With, uh, patient. With children. Children. With? Children. Yo no soy paciente con los niños. With yes. I am not patient with children.
but do you want uh, to be mother? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tell you an example. <laughs> Number six. Otra ejemplo. I don't like. I don't like. To be I don't like to be pilot. because I have a scar, a miedo. Scary, oh, yeah, scary. scary. I uh, am scared, I am scared. Oh. All right, all right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Who can tell me their examples? Who wants to share with the class the examples? Eh, ¿Quién quiere compartir sus ejemplos? Un voluntario que quisiera compartir sus ejemplos. One volunteer that would like to share your examples, please. One volunteer, one volunteer, one volunteer, one volunteer. Un voluntario que quiera compartir sus ejemplos. One volunteer, one volunteer, one volunteer, one volunteer. Somebody, somebody, one volunteer. Yo voy a compartir los míos. All right, excellent. Please uh, share with us your examples. I have a pet because I am funny. I want to be a doctor because I like help others. I need vacation because I'm sick to work. I need work because I need money to buy our things. I want to be a police officer because I'm sick, strict, strict. Solo de esas historias. Perfect, perfect. Those are all excellent. Thank you. Uh, Jose, can you share with the class your examples, please? Go ahead. We are listening. Hey, Jose, tiene apagado el micrófono. Okay. Okay. Ahora Listen sí. to me. Okay. Yes. I want to be translated because I am good writing writing in English. I want to be a chef because because I like to cook. Okay. I want to work a call center because I have a patience. Patience. Sorry. Sorry. Patience. That's good. Mm -hmm. 
easy money. Mm -hmm. I want to be manager because I, I am very efficient. Excellent. I don't want to be a teacher because I am not patient <laughs> with children. <laughs> My partner say that. <laughs> okay, okay, that's good, that's good. I don't like to be pilot because I am scared. Uh, the finish is a uh, height. Heights, uh, I am scared heights. of heights. Very good. Alturas. Mm -hmm. Heights, very good, excellent. Okay, all right guys, uh, awesome work today. I would like for you guys to go ahead and move forward and finish the activities and we're going to be doing the final exam tomorrow good night guys see you tomorrow see you. Good night, have, have a good night everybody thank you bye, -bye. See you tomorrow good night